Hello, I'm Tim Shriver, the chairman and CEO of the Special Olympics movement all over the world. Over 3.7 million athletes in 180 countries, and on behalf of all of them, the athletes, their families, volunteers and coaches, our sponsors, and in a special way, on behalf of my own family, I want to thank you for all you've done to play unified, to unite your community, to celebrate the spirit of the second annual global Eunice Kennedy Shriver Day. My mother would have been so excited by what happened on September the 24th. People in countries all over the world, from different cultures, different walks of life, all doing their part to show how we can all build united communities, how we can accept people with intellectual disabilities, and in accepting them, to make room in our own hearts for the best in each of us. She would have been amazed by what she saw. She would have been amazed by the work being done in Haiti at Camp Shriver, where those Special Olympics athletes all over the country came together on EKS Day, just as my mother did 40 plus years ago. She would have been amazed to see the perseverance and courage of the families, the volunteers, the sponsors, and most importantly, of the campers. Our very own Camp Shriver in my home when I was a kid seemed revolutionary. It was just as revolutionary when it was done on EKS Day in Haiti. She would have been amazed in South Africa as young people gathered together in Limpopo and celebrated not just Eunice Kennedy Shriver's work in the past, but the joy of unified football. She would have been amazed to see those teammates, the goals scored, the hugs, the learning, the insight, the hope. She would have been amazed in Romania, where students from Romania's National Academy of Physical Education and Sport partnered with local Special Olympics athletes and took part in a day of basketball and gymnastics and bocce. She would have been amazed that people in Japan, despite all of the trials and, and disasters of recent months, nonetheless turned out to honor the importance of her work but also to honor the need for healing and unifying a country that, despite its pain, recognizes that the spirit of sport can bring people together, all that done at the National Basketball Tournament. She would have been impressed that I, too, got out on the National Mall as part of the day of play and celebrated in the shadow of Washington and Lincoln and Jefferson and all of the great heroes of the United States freedom celebration, declaration of independence, declaration of freedom. She would have been impressed, but she would have said, Timothy, she would have said to each of my brothers and to my sister, to my children, to my wife, you have to do more. This was good, but this was not enough. There are still too many people who are feeling excluded, still too many times when parents get told their children don't count, still too many children who never get the chance to play. Be more rebellious. Show me your determination. I don't see enough of your passion. So I have no, uh, no choice but to share with you that same challenge. My mother would be proud of all you've done, but she would be on us all. Do more. Play more often. Live more unified. Be part of a revolutionary spirit and don't let it die. There is great work to be done. Great walls to be struck down. Great learning to be had all over the world. Work harder. Play unified with more vigor. And don't just do it one day a year, but do it every day of your life. Thanks all of you for celebrating her. All of us are celebrating you, the leaders of the unified revolution. Thank you.